So what is going on everybody, my name is Mehul and welcome to your third responsive web design tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to start actually. Now it's not rocket science, you can just start off straight away but you just need to know a little bit of things in order to um, keep going, right? So usually what I used to do in the past as a freelancer I've done over 300 to 400 projects on responsive web design alone itself, right? So what I used to do is I used to start from the top, right? And I didn't care. I didn't really did not care about what the bottom looked like till I reached that portion, right? So I'm going to start off with the header. Do the header first. I would make sure the header is responsive. I won't give a damn about what the other things are looking like. Once the header is complete, I move down to the next component or whatever it is, right? So that should essentially be the strategy as well. So I used to, I usually fire up my uh, inspect element here and uh, developer tools actually. Inspect element looks sort of kiddish to say. So. The developer tools I use I resize the screen size with it and you can see it looks awfully bad right now on the phones our fonts are not resizing everything is overflowing and I have just I guess yeah hidden the overflow X and you can see it looks awfully bad it's not responsive at all and you're gonna hate me if you visit my mobile website right now okay so let's just do something about it so let's just start with the header and uh, if i see then the header is cool let's just say until 1280 pixels right which i think is a standard sign of some sort of device 1280 is a resolution right so yeah it looks cool till 1280 so we can set a breakpoint on that now what do i mean actually by a breakpoint is that at 1280 some different sort of css would come into play right it doesn't matter if you're running 1600 pixel display or 16000 pixel display as long as your display does not hit 1280 mark your css would uh, or your layout would look same but the moment you cross that your layout would be governed by some different styles and how do we do that well actually let's just see so um this is page and uh, this is the style so let's just go ahead and uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and just paste all my responsive styles here only responsive web design link ahead and there we go right so yeah okay so first of all let's just see media say media only screen and uh, maximum width uh, 1280 pixels now there are a hell lot of ways to do responsive media queries and uh, um, people use uh, and minimum width uh, and all that stuff but in most cases you would not require that trust me i have done a lot of projects and i haven't ever ever used minimum width for any sort of such thing because it just kind of uh, adds confusion because you can you can do that it will just i'll just even tell you what it does it just kind of removes your query from um if you write like 600 pixels it'll just you know remove these styles but it's 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 useless you can just do that without even removing these i'll just show you in a while just stick with me <clears throat> so as a matter of testing we'll just say something like this uh if i scale it down okay guys i guess we do not have our styles loading yes we have yeah okay needed a cache refresh so you can see that our website is gone and the moment i hit the mark you can see it's visible again it's gone visible gone visible and we are doing all that stuff directly from our css right so that's not a very helpful media query so let's just get rid of this <clears throat> so right now um what you're seeing is that uh, 
we actually need to do something about this header, right? So the best thing I can think is converting this header into a menu sort of thing. Now this would go a little bit into adaptive web, web designing instead of responsive, but it would be worth it, right? Because uh, um, on the mobile phones or tablets, I think that uh, adding a menu sort of a three liner or whatever we call that and clicking that to show the menu would be a lot helpful and uh, easy to use instead of just aligning these items in a row in a grid or whatever that would look ugly right so let's just go ahead and create one so i guess i have to go into um, index.php right here and uh, if we take a look where the menu is all right all right all right all right there it is right this is the top nav looks cool and uh, what we can do here is uh, we can add if you take a look in the browser for the top nav we have got two ul left and right and obviously we just need to style left for now okay so we have uh, the logo as a ul element only yeah right okay so yeah we can just create another one top nav and uh, let's just give it uh, uh, top nav desktop let's just say and then we can just simply go ahead and do top nav small and uh, we will just change top nav uh, to top nav desktop and replace all there we go and what we are gonna do here is uh, we're gonna say top nav desktop display none and top nav small display block which would essentially be or actually let's just move this above because i'm not sure about the residence i guess it would be just best to move these above or are the css styles uh, actually i just forgot the order in which the styles are respected so maybe let's just keep it at the bottom we'll just move it in the top if there's any sort of problem so what we are going to do is just add a top nav small to display none here and yeah so now what happens is that we are just displaying the same menu again but we want to make some changes right so i'm going to say this is div class logo mobile and uh, i'm just gonna copy and paste this thing and uh, i'm gonna say you will class uh, uh, mobile menu let's just get rid of this these items are perfectly fine we can get rid of this and we are good to go now finally what we need is uh, div id um, menu toggler and the open menu something like this and uh, yeah that's pretty much it on the end of html the rest of the task would be done by css right so our menu is no longer visible and uh, if you take a look here top nav smaller i guess did we miss something here yeah okay so the styles are overriding but we don't see anything because 
it's somewhere down here right so again first of all let's just copy the styles we have in here so we can say that uh, rather just let's do this here only position fixed top zero left zero all that usual nonsense which we do or rather let's just copy this only right and uh, let's just paste it here let's just get rid of height because we do not hard, need to hard code that now and if i reload you can see that we are getting an ugly sort of thing we need to resize logo mobile as uh, width 300 pixel and one more thing you can do is that uh, i usually do this i select every element and i say maximum width is 100 percent now what this does is that it helps us to just set the width of the parent container of an image and the image automatically resizes because if you see that without this your parent container is 300 pixels but the image doesn't give a uh, damn right so yeah so just it's it just comes handy sometimes so it would be just better if we do that as well right so and yeah you i'm just keeping these styles outside because they are not specific right now because the menu would not be actually visible unless you hit the mobile screen size so it doesn't matter you can just keep them here at all as well it's up to you so we have this and text the line center won't work margin zero auto would be good for a mobile sort of device and we'll just copy that later so we have the menu now and if you take a look at this menu what we can do is we can say font size is a slightly bigger um, padding is 10 pixels color triple e and uh, yeah that looks great uh, let's just copy this paste it here and actually i could just have um sort of configured it with a module reloader and uh, webpack and all this stuff but i'm just too lazy to do that so anyhow we're just gonna need to copy the code all along the way right so yeah i was just missing this logo mobile as well so there we go and uh, finally what we can do is that we can after this say content display block and uh, um content should be rather triple bar and i remember it's around u8801 or rather just 8 8 or probably not it's unicode is um Two two six nine. Okay, after enough of googling, I figured out its Unicode is actually two six three zero, right? So, yeah, looks good. And we can say that uh, display block position absolute, and we're just gonna go position relative to this. Then uh, we can say right zero, top zero, or um, what we have 10 pixel and uh, write uh, 10 pixels as well right so this is how pretty much it would look and we can here say that it's a cursor pointer for the whole menu and we'll just copy all of this code straight away and you can just place it here as well wherever it looks good right so there we go and finally what we need to do is we need to hide these and before hiding we need to actually style these a little bit so 
So we're gonna say color or ally a color white text de text decoration none um padding five pixels display block text land center or should we no let's just keep it left only and uh, um, let's just say padding left 20 pixels let's just make it padding top five pixels padding bottom five pixels we can just use shorthands as well i'm just about elaborating things here so yeah and if you take a look our whole li looks good and you can do something like hover background is something like this but it looks awful so i'm just gonna give it a lighter shade than the current one so this looks nice right and again we're just gonna paste off this code whoops there we go right and uh, we are almost there we just need to add some functionality to trigger this menu now i remember there are some css ways as well to do this but uh, i think the javascript one would be the most intuitive and obvious thing to do so what we're gonna do is simply go to any of the javascript file which the page is using and you can actually just separate the logic as well and i have no idea what this means right now uh yeah anyhow so i'm just gonna say since i'm using jquery so i can just go ahead with this only and uh, let's just go traditional so what we're gonna do is uh, um, I'm gonna say that show if I remember it correctly it's 100 let's just add a hundred millisecond delay or let's just why not just toggle this I guess we do have jQuery so if I reload this yep looks cool and uh, yeah that's all pretty much for the header you can see you can if you are really desperate you can add a little border button one pixel solid and again you can just match it with the frequency a little bit so that it looks nice or you can rather do border top instead of border bottom right so that will pretty much give it a look and there we are then so that is all pretty much you create a very basic whoa menu but uh, i guess our display isn't getting uh hidden so what the problem is is that uh, Mm. we just missed the display none here so there we go and where is top nav desktop now cool but where is top nav smaller okay so yeah we are just missing we can just get rid of this div here so that we just bring down the precedence a little and there we go so that is how pretty much you create a responsive header and uh, yeah I guess it is sort of okay for now. So yeah that's all for this tutorial and in the next one we'll be moving on to the next component and see how what we can do about that and uh, that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then in the next one.